I wanted to share this information with you, and I'd like to thank the people that um, commented and, and let me know about this. So you know who you are. I appreciate you getting me started on this because I knew about where CERN um, was located. I mean, I knew about where it was on the map, but I didn't know the history of that location. And it's very suspicious that they picked that place. So I'm going to probably say this wrong. I apologize, but it's in some place called St. Genis Poily in eastern France. A large portion of CERN, the European Laboratory for Particle Physics, is located in the territory of St. Genis Poily. The Alice Experiment is located on the periphery of the town. And the main entrance to the primary CERN campus and the Alice Experiment are located only three kilometers from the center of St. Genis. Okay, now the, the history of this place is I got it from this RT, you know, mainstream media source. But if you don't like that, here's four different other sources that talk all about the history of this place and what it was. Okay, so if you don't like the RT source, I'll put all these other ones below. You can look it up for yourself. I just like it because it's nice and succinct and all right here for you. CERN's Curious Choice of Geographic Location. Now, on top of all the speculation as to what CERN scientists are really attempting to do with their Large Hadron Collider, many observers could not help but notice that the town in France where CERN is partially situated is called St. Genus Poily. The name Poily comes from the Latin Apollyacum, and it is believed that in Roman times a temple existed in honor of Apollo, and the people who live there believe that it is a gateway to the underworld. It is interesting to note that, that CERN is built on top of the same spot. Religious leaders, always suspicious of the aims of the scientific world, drew a connection to a verse straight out of Revelation, which makes reference to the name Apollyon. The verse states, To him was given the key of the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and they had a kind over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is abandoned, but in the Greek tongue hath his name is Apollyon. So that's your Satan, Saturn, all that stuff. Same guy. Apollo, right? Apollyon. There's all your missions to the moon call him apollo this and that and that interesting so that's this thing's bad news don't care what anybody says um to say it's fake because you can put the word con in front of it and say it's it's, it's fake because it's it's a con it's concern then that means that there's never that no one in any way, shape, or form in the history of the world has ever had a fight with somebody because a fight is also called a conflict. So you're trying to tell me that no one, <laughs> you're trying to tell me too that I've never been in a conflict with anybody in my life, huh? Wow, that's a pretty ballsy statement. So to say CERN is just some fake money pit because you can put the three letters con in front of it and completely dismiss this thing, I think is kind of naive and quite, quite frankly a little silly. So I just wanted to share with you the locate the history of the location of where CERN is where it is because like I said, I knew where it was on the map, but I did not understand and did not know the actual history of that cert that specific geographic location. Just one coincidence after another, isn't it, that just keeps getting chalked up along with this thing. I mean, holy cow, how many more until you're like, yeah, you know what? Maybe it's not so crazy after all. Some people say it's an engine. Some people say it's a Stargate. I don't really know what to believe, but I know it's not what they're telling us, and they're not really telling us what they're doing with it, the truth. That's all I know for sure. I believe that 100%. They are not telling us the truth, what this thing is and what it does. Okay, that's it. Links will be below. Thank you to my subscribers.